Yeah, I feel like the bands are fine. It had a really solid comp. I was really in favor of that. It's just the way they're playing. Wizard, just having so many deaths early as Teamy, jumping with his Pooty Poots, and then not comboing with the rest of his teammates. Again, it, it comes down to Wizard, Rude, and Blitz. They have to work together and really help Ninja and McFly carry. And McFly was just shut down. Yeah, definitely banned the Valheim uh, because he just couldn't handle the pressure that Hikes was giving him in the side lane. I just need a member of BBV to just go off, to step up. Every other, you know, every other team, they've got these players that we talk about. Yeah, there's some newer faces on BBV, but I need, they, they made it here. They qualified. They're one of the top six teams in North America. I need one of these players to have a game where I go, look out for this guy. He's in yeah. a rising star. They need to have this because if somebody doesn't step up to lead the, ch to lead the charge, lead the rally, yeah. They're gonna get keep getting bodied. Yeah, they need to ban Morin here or Lumber. But I feel like if they don't have a plan against the Morin, they just ban him away because of his constant lifesteal and the way that they're playing him. They're using him to take objectives like the dragon all the time. So I feel like Morin or Lumber would be a good ban here. You need a target ban drawn the fame at this point because they are constantly playing Lumber every single game. Valheim they though. They can pick the Valheim. Valheim you, though. That is you're looks, triggered again. Yep. The blue side, yes, Valheim. Yes, I am. I'm going to coach them now. <laughs> Drop all sense of bias. Oh, BBB, the Raz. Just take Look at a, this. Take the it. target ban. You see, John and Fane's complete. They had the same draft as they did last game. Complete target bans onto um, Vinny Vinovici here. So Dial now, Chan. I don't think it's going to be a Dao Chan. I think, it, I think it still will be the Raz. And if it is, with Valheim being banned, banned on blue side now, this opens the door for Aram. Aram has... Yep. Uh, Aram is only one of two... Uh, oh, oh! Speaking well, of which, I guess they're listening to you. I guess so. Arum, as I was mentioning, is one of two that has both a hundred percent win and hundred percent ban or pick ban rate. So yeah, but she said like not a lot of games in NA. Yeah, um, she McFly like, definitely. They're prioritizing McFly's Ari here because it's his probably his most comfort pick. However, I wonder if Drawn Fame is going to deny Ninja's Raz. We saw how good his Raz was, so let's see if they're going to deny it. Because now we have so many good picks. Violet is still open. You know, you have oh, Ard. You're gonna prioritize Ard. Don't do Zenio it. Zenio open. Don't do it. Don't. Zenio do it. looks pretty good still. You have Teamy. Don't do it. <laughs> Zenio Malik would be good. Oh, Marja is also Look, I'm all for a spicy Astro pick. I lied. To pick the Astro, and she's great sometimes, and she has the funnest <laughs> alts in the game. And that Slugger skin is. I just yeah. That was the quickest turnaround of an anti uh <laughs> anti picks right up until you have Rastrid, and then I'm all for it because that hero was awesome. And I love her visuals. Yeah. She's just, just, cool. just, just a sick. Oh, Marja and Kilgrass. Drawn to Fame drafts so off meta. It's so interesting. Like, they don't prioritize the, the obvious meta picks like Violet, like Xenio, like Malik there. Now they can pick Malik Xenio, or, you know, they, they could play like a support Malik, which is fine. And I think it would work really well because the combo from Xenio. Irie and Malik is awesome. Take the take the Zenio here. Um, they don't have to worry about Zenio though because Drawn to Fame have already picked both side laners. Teamy is also still open, so let's see what Benavidi she wants to prioritize. Maybe they'll pick up the Raz to make sure Ninja gets his Raz. A lot of options. Could be a jungle kill Groth. You never know. We might jungle see the kill Groth. Yeah. Could be. <laughs> you never know. You never know with Drawn to Fame. Get you never, that. ever know with Drawn to Fame. Absolutely what not. they could go, how they could go, when they could go, where they can go. Every every question mark. Why, Gamora? No, they can just pull out some crazy stuff. And Man, that Lumber love. So, so much love in that Lumber. Lumber love from BBV. Taking it away from Ooh, Drawn to Fame Chagma this time will around. counter uh, the Earth player and the Shock ultimate, but you can't only block one, not two things. Chagnar looking to be the hover here for Drawn to Fame. As uh, as it usually goes, we have the delights and the insight to pick pretty much most of what's going to happen, though unfortunately in this setup, Drawn to Fame can surprise us pretty much at any point in time. So Flash. pretty much just gonna have to wait until these timers kick down. There we Flash go. though. Great, it's a great pick because like I said, it's it's really good into ADC um, compositions that they're probably gonna pick there. So let's see if the flash does come up because Ninja will probably play the Raz. If Raz isn't banned, I would love to see BBB pick him up because that's the times they yeah, found Ninja's success. Yeah, Ninja's Raz is amazing. It's really, really good. His mobility, the way he utilizes it, 
puts himself in rough positions, but he does enough damage before he dies that the team is able to clean it up. I mean, it's again, it's high risk, all the reward if his team can actually yeah, follow up with there him. You go. And then Slim's potentially here. Violet has made it through the draft completely. Wow, it's kind of crazy. I feel like Drawn of Fame is still gonna play Morn. They're still gonna play Morn. They, they could do Slim's, but I feel like Morn makes the most sense because Kilgroth can just protect Morn if like Irie or anyone jumps on top of him. He can it literally just activate Gorelord and just go ham and kill anyone that's on top of Morn. And Morn can just fight for his life and life steal and try to stay alive. So I think Morn will probably make, be the obvious choice for Drawn of Fame here. But of course, Ninja is going to be on his Raz, and not a bad draft from VVV here. Interesting enough, taking a look at Lucifer and the mid lane picks that he has had for Drawn to Fame. Now, despite us, again, hoping and wanting and praying that we can always predict everything, coming into this week, as well as included both games one and now two of this, Lucifer has played a different hero every single game <laughs> over That's a uh, over a sample size of now eight games for Drawn to Fame. <laughs> he's played eight heroes. Eight heroes. Granted, he's also oh, coming no. into uh, coming into this game of those eight heroes. He also is touting a uh, a, a quite delightful 1.6 KDA. So uh, has had some rough instances, but you cannot deny the fact that he has versatility. Yeah, I well, just actually, noticed. I, I can deny that if he's if he has a 1.6 KDA. Just because you can play the heroes doesn't mean you're good at them. Yet to be seen, however. Yeah, <laughs> see, he's having troubles. Flipping because the desk over by accident. He has troubles because he knows what's coming next, and that's giveaways. Last giveaway of the day. We've got Latin America. We've got Europe. We've got North America. Damn it, I missed it. Sweet I'm Jay. better than him. Yeah. Remember, these are region locked. You guys are so adorable with the matching shirts I know. Shirts the shirts right are now. way too close. I didn't think this Synergy, through at all. Synergy, baby. I, That's yeah, something that synergy. you guys need to win. Okay? That's how it's going to go. That's how it's going to be. Remember, the codes are region locked <laughs> at some time. <laughs> that, was a, that was a rumble. Oh, was... Egg Gemic Splendor there. A little too late. Just a little late, yeah. I only have 30 more minutes to deal with you guys. Woo! And then I'm going to be good. But let's talk the actual game. Getting into loaded onto the battlefield very shortly. VVV has a solid composition. Yeah, it's not it bad. is standard composition. Is it enough to take down Drawn? They have though? taken away Lumber from Zoom. So let's see what Wizard can do with Lumber. I, th I feel like it's a better style for Wizard. His aggressive support play has just put him in a bad position. He, and he's like free low. But Lumber <laughs> is more defensive. So he can then do Earth Splitters and protect his team. So I've, And that's what a support needs to do. If I think this is the best composition the VVV could have asked for, I feel like this is a lot of comfort picks. It's a solid draft. I think it's decent into what Drawn of Fame has put together. If VVV still loses his game, it is simply because Drawn of Fame is the better squad. Now, it is still to wonder which Drawn to Fame will show up. Something that Drawn to Fame has had, besides the word inconsistent that has loomed over their head, is the ability to pop off if their early game is successful. The games that we have on the sample size of Drawn to Fame actually putting in the effort and actually putting in uh, the time, their successes have revolved around that early game, and I feel that it revolves around the compositions that they pick and being able to exploit that of the enemy team. Will we find out that now? I don't know. Next time on Valor Series, which is coming up right about now, it's going to be game number two of our second match of the day. Drawn to Fame is up one game over VVV, looking to get their first dub, dub, dub. Oh, boy. All right, game number two and already teams are scrapping in the middle nobody's going to be finding any crazy invades and it has been relatively passive all things considered that we saw that one really nice trade in our last series but other than that people don't really feel like giving up silly deaths which is completely contrary to what we saw in we see in other regions for one thing and also last season where invades were the norm yeah definitely there and it was just so aggressive last season the most aggressive region and, they, you know, they haven't been playing as aggressive here. It's more cautious, more calculating now. But we do know that Vidi Vidivici, they can play aggressive with the right combo. They can land a Shock Ultimate, a Ryu Ultimate, and then Lumber can easily chain that. So they have a really solid CC comp. And then don't forget Raz, he's got that fancy footwork, that explosive KO that can jump into the entire enemy team and knock everyone up. So Ninja and the rest of his team comboing together is going to be clutch for VVV to turn this around. That's really what I'm going to be watching for. They have to find and exploit the openings 
that Ninja creates for his team. When those uppercuts come on through, and you've got, you just had mentioned that explosive KO, if he can set up his team, and the team is actually there to listen and to be his damage and to chain that CC, then yes, there's absolutely an opportunity, but I need to look to Wizard. Wizard has been very quiet. He's been like, you know, first year at Hogwarts, not having a whole lot of success. He needs to like, go complete his OWLs or something going into this next game because I need him to go off and follow up with the Earth Splitters of his life. Yeah, definitely. That combo, that teamwork is going to be key for Vena Vitovici to turn this around. But can Zoom play his Chognar as well as he plays his Lumber? And how is Waya going to do on this march as well here? Because we've seen him shine on Ari, we've seen him shine on Arjun. Can it Marja shine as well? It's definitely a little bit of a different play style though. So we'll see Marja if that can follow up. Oh, I love this baiting out the cleave from Rude. Dragon going the way of Drawn to Fame to start this off. No solid contestion from BVV. They just watched that go down with barely a whimper. Yeah, that was very, very good rotation and also just river dominance. You just know that a team that has better river control they are communicating. They know the objective is to push them out of river, secure the dragon, distract like how you saw Not Lucifer did with that super speed in that mock punch and dodging that cleave. And that's what's going to help them really shine here. And that baiting, we see uh, Drawn to Fame do a lot of. Drawn to Fame is going to be doing a little bit more than baiting right now as the shadow whoo, barely off cooldown for McFly right there. Yeah, Hikes just wasted his Gorlord though. Didn't really get to use that off, so nice escape. But that tower is going to fall because that next wave is coming right behind him. That Ghost Walk coming in from Waya as well. Nicely done. The full initiation in return from BVV was going to be there. So both sides trading glancing blows to start game number two. Yeah, and they got to rotate back here. But look, yeah, that's going to be a tower because Killgroth along with Lindis, the amount of damage and how fast they'll take that tower is going to be so easy here. It's just gone. Blink twice, and it is no longer on the battlefield. Attempting to take something in return, though, is going to be BVV, but they don't have Blitz, their key yeah. damage dealer here as well, to poke this down. And they're not Sitting trading. Back. They needed to trade something there. That was their chance. It was obvious that uh, Drawn to Fame would stay up there. And we do have the Collapse fully coming in, the Earth Splitter on to Zoom, but that is the only target. Everybody else is stacking for so much damage. Wizard is going to be the target. A nice shock, though. Counter initiation, but Blitz falls. The ult from Yikes is there. The Spirit comes in and uh, brings BVP two deaths closer to a solid position for Drawn to Fame. Interesting, Zoom didn't use his Chaos Protection to get out of and dodge that Earth Splitter, but Rude, what are you doing, sir? You're gonna fall there. Low health, trying to get in there, get some extra damage, but Yikes knows his limits and he's playing this hero so well. Yikes, finding success in this jungle position. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually really liking this right now. I mean, we are seeing the... the oh. oh, he sniped it. He oh, did. Oh, no. Yikes, man, you dirty, dirty man. I mean, Slippery is a little fish right now. Getting in and out of there, stealing a buff for a good measure, all while the Abyssal another, Dragon is being taken. Another Abyssal Dragon like another Clockwork. One. Their macro game is solid. They're playing really well in this macro game. This again, there's a lot of experienced players on this squad here. Yikes, Waya, Lucifer, right? Zoom. Those are all pretty veteran players. Did they just cancel out the oh the air splitter just like, oh no, that was absolutely beautiful. Oh, that timing on that Chaos Protection. Yikes is going to be in trouble. Putting him back into the wall is Ninja. That was a beautiful play, but his teammates are all dead around him. He was not able to create the opening soon enough. And VVV trading three for one. Yeah, that is huge for, for Drawn to Fame right now. And Ninja getting a kill, though. You can see why his Raz is so respected. But is it going to be enough, though? Can one man beat five people? Probably One not. man in a world. Oh, the rest of his team look can at that. Follow up on his damage for once. He's so good. That's the thing. That's why it's such a shame because I just feel like if the rest of the team can, it, maybe he's just not communicating this well enough to his teammates of when he's looking for these openings and that as well. Like you have to think that it, it's consistently that they aren't able to to be there to rally yeah. around the openings that he's creating. And it, you got to think that maybe a little bit's coming down to communication. Yeah, look at it. He can slow. Oh, look at that. We do have the Cyclone going in. Wizard's going to be the target. But look at the disengage potential. The mobility from Drawn to Fame is doing so much for them right now. They're able to go in, burn a couple ults, but bait a lot of ults, and force a response from BBB and then get value elsewhere on the map. Yeah, and look at Lucifer there. Just poking so well as Flash here. Knowing when to go in, when to go out, and when to obviously bait so many abilities here. And Hikes is just winning his side lane so massive. Ari cannot contest against a kill god. He just has too much attack speed. 
too much life steal when he activates his Enrage Spear and also his Gorlord makes him immune to so much CC. Basically hard counters the Irie there, it's not having the stun, not having... Uh, oh, oh, Zoom. Oh, nice Chaos Protection there. You try to Chaos Protection in the bush there, Mr. Zoom. He's also just B-stepping his way to victory right now. Why is also feeling so comfortable because of that Ghost Walk, able to just dish damage, and, and that's Mario for you. He's yeah. able to go in and just low-key just keep dishing damage. And, and Mario has so much to sustain. Damage. She's almost full health now because of that wave. And now we see Lucifer going to go in as well. Cyclone finding a couple targets there. Wizard is going to be the pick. The rest of the follow-up, Rude is going to look to try and find a counter initiation with the shock. No opening is presented though. Drawn to fame. Ooh. They have a chance to really burst Lucifer. I feel like with, with Lumber, he can get the stun, jump onto Lucifer and stun the Flash because he flashed on immune when, when he flies in like that. So I feel like they have a split second to respond and turn that around. Well, that like right there, there we go. That's exactly right what you need to do. That's exactly what I just talked about. Boom, Rude gets a kill on Lucifer. That was the opening. Finally, capitalizing, following up on that great play from Wizard, or from Ninja, I should say. McFly does fall as the response. It is actually was, I was saying, Wizard, who is going to be the target of Great Earth Splitter, connecting though onto Maria. Finally, threading the needle, Ninja showing his raw mechanical skill, finding the flash in the midst of this while he is dashing in. That was impressive play. Yeah, I mean, they could combine. Lumber needs to go in with, with his, uh, his rampage. Oh. He can then knock up and, oh, Ninja, poor guy, you're gonna fall right there. But they can easily take advantage of Lucifer overextending a lot and catch him exactly that. Just stun him with the rampage, right? Lumber dash in, gets, knocks him up. Ninja then knocks him up. Ari gets a spin. There's so many things they can do here. And Zoom is baiting out an alt right now. Chaos Protection is there. He was trying to split the, or let's just say cut the wave there. Able to do so and able to get out alive. Nice play there from Dronda. Yeah, definitely. And really good job by Yikes with his rotations, his positioning, getting that mid tower. And look at the damage. Rude's going to have to back off. Wizard lands a great Earth Splitter, but you're pretty low. You're going to have to go and heal. Blitz, a little behind. Level 10 versus level 12. Yikes, that is not a good situation for uh, Violet. And then the Drake has been summoned in the top lane. And Hikes is going right down with him. Having that Dark Slayer, having the Drake pushing in now, getting so much value everywhere on the map. Simultaneously is drawn to fame. Showing their prowess here in this matchup. Ninja is trying to pull him back wow. in and able to pick up the kill. There we go. Ninja. Beautiful. Jumping in there, getting the burst, and then jumping away and then hitting him with a power surge. Doing that last hit damage to secure the kill on the hikes there. Well played there. This guy's Raz is just amazing. There's a reason you respect Ban this hero right now, but it's just not enough because the team is giving ground everywhere. Yes, he's finding openings, he's creating openings, he's forcing responses. But meanwhile, the person he's not putting damage on is doing so much work elsewhere on the map and his team just cannot keep up. Yeah, yikes, look at his build. He has the Frost Cape now, Rank Breaker. Good, gonna start getting that Clav Sancti. Once he does, then this is gonna do so much burst after she, act, she activates Lunar Champion with the Frost Game. Look at the slows, oh my goodness. We do have a beautiful Chaos Protection denying the shock perfectly. Rude is gonna get absolutely shredded. Loose for the back, those just going in, trying to find multiple targets. Nicely done there, but he's gonna get picked off counter response. And that is now Wizard oh. in forward trees inside of Drona Famous finding the flank there. There is Mario Wizard is absolutely gone. Put on your invisibility cloak, you're out of here. McFly is just hanging in the side lane. Like, oh, you guys are team fighting? Okay, I'll, t I'll take care of these minions and I'll join you in the team fight. No, not at all, actually. So, Irie, if he was there, McFly could have probably helped combo that shock ultimate and turn that fight for them. And now Blitz is getting pressure down underneath the core, the Gore Lord. Everything coming in right now as Hikes is going to look to end this game. There are minions on the core. That is going to be GG, wasting no time. Drawn to Fame takes the series two to series two to zero. They upgrade from a ballpoint pen to a permanent marker, and that permanent marker puts a two in the win column for Drawn to Fame, securing themselves their defeat in the series against Veni Vidi Vici. Welcome back to the desk. Gentlemen, they did it, they showed up, and what do you know, they came out with a win. Yeah, I mean, just really awesome plays. Yikes, man, on this jungle position, like you were saying, just carrying his team. But he had a lot of support from his side laners, doing such a good job. I mean, everyone played their role. 
And you can see why Drawn to Fame is a team that when they play well together and really take it to their opponents, they end up winning very decisively.